Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review, and this is Hide the Key. by Chris Rawlings. Before I do the review, usual stuff, go check out now or afterwards, if you do it now, come back to uh, have a look at onlinemagic.co, my membership site that's been going for 10 years, hundreds of videos, loads of tutorials, pre-recorded and live sessions every week where you can request stuff and I will answer your questions. Even if you can't make the live sessions, I'll still talk about them so you can watch it later. All uploaded, 130 of those so far. Um, and like I say, every single month, uh, this Thursdays usually, but it, we're changing it up. It's happening Saturday this week, but there you go. Um, and like and subscribe, do that. Press a little bell icon for when I go live. I go live most Thursdays at five o'clock, but some Thursdays I don't, and it's good to know so you don't turn up. And I go live at very random times too. Do all that stuff, and then the channel can keep going, and everybody's happy that likes the channel. Right. Hi, the key. Uh, Chris had these at Blackpool. I thought, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> and finally, I've played with it and taken it out and had a little, a little explore. What this is, is a, let's see if I can demonstrate it now. Um, and this is with very little practice. You show, I, I'd show free keys, but just for the sake of thing, uh, you show the keys very clearly. You have some presentation about the keys and then uh, one of them vanishes and you can show that the key has appeared somewhere else at its most basic. Uh, with this, you get the gimmick and you get the spare key. So you, that vanishes and you, the, the Key is found somewhere, again, it ends up sometimes back on there, so you can show it's come back. That's the most awful um, description of what this does. <laughs> I'm not going to re-record it, but because by the end of it, you'll get the idea, and you can have a look at the trailers, you'll know what this does. This is a coin trick, really, but done with keys. Now think about that. It's, it's done with keys that are on your key ring. So it's always there. It's ready to go. This is proper EDC, everyday carry stuff. And I've got it on my keys. Uh, we'll explain that in a little bit of detail in a minute. But again, I'm trying to cut the time down a little bit whilst also waffling a bit because that's my USB. I waffle and ramble. Um, yeah, it's unique, but maybe not a selling proposition. I'm constantly forgetting keys and stuff. It's like, I'll see the keys, I know where they are, and then I'll be like, oh, where are my keys? And we just talked about ADHD mm -hmm. and stuff like that, and it's kind of so frustrating. Um, and it's kind of like this happens. This is almost what happens in my head. So I have my keys, um, and I have to take them off, obviously, to give to the kids and stuff like that. So I've got three, how many keys? Three. Right. Mm -hmm. And this is what happens in my head. It's like, it's almost like it's it vanishes. So if I just sort of, you see that, how many keys there now? Two. <laughs> Two. All right, so there's no, there's no, nothing hidden. But it's where the key is, and I'll be looking around everywhere for it. It's not in my pocket, and it's in the weirdest places. <laughs> and it could be somewhere really odd, like, I don't know, in my bag, in, it's sometimes, in my glasses case. I found them in my yeah. glasses case once. If you, if you open your glasses case there, <laughs> you see there's a... It's the middle one, so it's the hardest one to get over. Have a look in your pocket. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> the important thing about this is that when you've got a set of keys and you do a trick with keys, are they going to last? If you have them on a key ring getting battered about, is that going to last? Does it look like a proper set of keys? Which it totally does. And is it easy? That's not important to everybody, but it's important to me at the moment so I don't have to spend weeks and weeks on a trick. I started playing with this yesterday. And I sat for a little bit playing with the handlings and stuff like that. I could do it straight away. And that's not because I'm a coin handler. No, I'm on a, not on about the vanishes, but I'm on about that thing. Well, yes, I am on about the vanishes. I'm on about this vanish here, which is the main thing. You show the keys and I've got three on here usually, but again, they one of them vanishes in front of the, the audience and then appears somewhere. But that vanish is the kind of backbone of it. And when I've got the extra key on there, so I have a sorry, I have a um, a gold key on there, normal one, and it just it looks better. So it's the middle key that vanishes. So there's a gold one, a silver one. I go look at the middle one, back and in front of them it vanishes. Can you check? There's definitely two there. It's in your pocket. It's in my pocket, etc. 
Super, 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 super easy. It is self-working. It is not self-handling. And what I mean by that is it's going to do it, but you want to practice the handling of it. So there's a, you'll see on one of the videos, the way I show it, easy, but it's important that I can do that without looking like I'm sort of really thinking about it. And I still am a little bit, I'm kind of in that conscious competent mode because I've only had it for a little bit of time. That vanish when you know it's done, kind of, you know, oh, are they going to think it's going to be, it's like that sort of magician's guilt thing. They don't. In front of them, it vanishes. And as Chris says in the download, you then, you go on to where, where it gets reproduced from. And the, the keys, they've seen it, you've double checked, it's all just one thing, and you can put them away and they're not interested in those yet, the, the key becomes a part of it. So any heat that you might be worried about is away from, from that gimmick. So that's at its most basic. There's a lovely, there's loads of routines on this. There's a kickback routine, which is really nice, when, where you show the uh, keys, one of them vanishes, ends up in their pocket or your pocket, and then it goes back onto the keys, or it can go the other way where you show two keys. Yeah, so the back onto it, or you can do it just one thing where you show uh, one key, you put it in their hand, they put their hands over it, you take a key out of your pocket, vanish that, and it ends up on there as two keys. Uh, let me just, there's uh, two keys, and then it goes back to where it came from. So again, not really doing it justice there, but I want to give you an idea of all the different things you can do. You can also do a thing where the key ring isn't involved, and incidentally, you don't get the key ring with it, but it will work on any key ring. He does recommend those sorts of key rings, which is quite cool for when you want to take keys off and put them back on. So you might have the take a key off, vanish it, and it ends up back on there and back again and all that sort of Think of copper, silver, think of all those routines. Think of your coin shell routines, but with keys, and you'll get the idea, but way, way, way easier and with an everyday object and happening in their hands. So this is really, really good. And it's good, especially because of how it's made. The thinness is very important. So when they look at that key, and they're looking right at it. And like he said, it's really nice display because it's their face is there, your face is there, and it's kind of, it's a, it's a lovely framing thing. They're looking at two keys that don't look big or weird or odd. Now, if you looked really close and you were looking for something before the tricks happen, and don't forget they don't know what's going to happen, you might look at one bit of it and go, that's a bit chunky. But that, again, would be your magician's guilt. Nobody's looking. It, 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 totally isn't and that actually it's the same with a coin shell if you look at a coin shell when you've got them even i've got beautiful school craft coin shells i thought i was really going to look them but no it's it's just not a problem so this to me is is a really really very cool thing and i like chris's stuff and i don't i want you to know this isn't bias i i haven't really hung out with chris ever i just like the way he thinks and I like him lecture, lecturing, and I've, I've had him on the, um, the course, and he's done a session there. He's, just, he's, he's got a, a good mind, and he's, he's got a good kind of practical mind for what really, really works. And this really, really works. There is so much. The download's like two hours long. And yeah, there's bits of it I thought, you know, could have been sort of condensed. But a lot of two-hour downloads, I'm, I'm like, God, really, do we need this? But actually... I watched the whole thing and I was quite enjoying it. So he has a lovely bit where he does all the different routines. And he does like a director's commentary. I mean, the editing's a bit all over the place. He kind of goes, we've got to do this now and you have to kind of look for it, but that's fine. Um, he does a commentary over what he's doing. So you see him do this in pubs and to people and then he talks you through what's happening. And he talks, there's this lovely bit where it, all, it doesn't go wrong, but the people are being quite hard work. It's hilarious because I, I look at it and go, I've been there so many times. Um, but he deals with that all right as well. So it just shows you the kind of versatility. And once you understand the gimmick, you, if something goes wrong, you're going to be able to just improvise around that and do... It's, it's a very simple thing. It's a very intuitive thing. And you know why everything works. So just a quick trick, boom, like I did in a video. Very quick. There you go. Um, or you can expand it and make it more of a thing. And incidentally, Greg Wilson you know, got on board, not for any you know benefit of his own. And there's a whole kind of hour or something zoom between Chris and Greg Wilson with him having a different take on it and you know you're gonna have a a trick here which I can't imagine anybody isn't going to take out and go and do just because it's so easy and it's such an easy win really and it's beautifully visual um I think there's you know when I was looking at it there's lots of other stuff you can do as well so if you don't want to do the visual thing you can do the misdirection thing so you show the free keys put them down there um 
you pull one out of there, you know, vanish it or whatever, and it's gone back, and that's, no you don't. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> Basically, what I'm trying to say is you can do the thing out of misdirection and then it vanishes and then you look and then it's on there. Nobody's going to know what I'm talking about, but <sighs> doesn't matter, does it? You get the idea. So, this is great. It's well made. I've been carrying it around. It still works. It looks great. It's easy. What's not to love? Probably somebody will go, but you didn't mention this. I can't think of anything negative at the moment, um, but I'm sure I will. And and all the little details he's thought of as well. You can you can actually flash both sides of the gimmick, I think, fine, you know, not quickly in a rushed way, but you can relax with it, is what I'm saying. Uh, it's that good. So that's Harley Creek, Chris Rawlings. Uh, any questions, put them below, because there's gonna be loads I uh, missed out. Angles, yeah, you're not gonna, you know, but you can do it there, you yeah, know, it's fine. Uh, yeah, all right. Take care. Go and have a look at onlinemagic.co if you're still here. See you later.